I just want to ask you how the process is going so far. I think that um, it's been it's been smooth. Uh, there are a few, as usual in election, you have some uh, names not found in the register. I've had occasion to also uh, correct some and all that, but all said and done, it's been peaceful. You're playing a double role here. You are a candidate, but you're also an administrator. So let's take the administration part first. Um, the issue about how people would appear to vote, the issue about people's name not being in there, a court injunction that has come at the 11th, I mean, this would have frustrated your process, hasn't it? It's something that frustrates us a lot, particularly in our internal elections. People will wait a day before elections, and the election is on the weekend. Then you have no option than to just go by the court decision. I think that uh, I made a point that after this internal elections, we will have a cause to have a discussion with the chief justice because some of these things are not helpful at all. Sometimes you prepare, you hire. Uh, hotels, you have venues, you prepare food. At the 11th hour, somebody just threw in uh, 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 an injunction that, that for, uh, frustrates us, just like this, for instance. The person could have even gone for an ex party uh, motion. This was ex party? Yeah, it is. So you didn't know about this at all? No, no. They only served it on you? No, yeah. served it on the electoral commission. And we have to abide by it. And so what happens? That's that's a huge electoral college that has been removed. What numbers are we talking about? The test come people. Close to 300. Um, All of them cannot vote. No, the person who sent it there alleged that there are fake names in it. There are insertion. There are people who are qualified who are not supposed to be there. And, all it. and it didn't give us the opportunity as a party to correct them. It's, it's, it's sad and sometimes it's, it's a major setback to uh, Will you give them a chance later to vote or that would be it? That would be it. Yeah, the election is over. So. It may affect people's, you know, because if I spend my time campaigning to only Tescon and now they are not voting, that would be a problem. That is, that is the reality you have to live with. How about the polling stations? You have 20 polls, that's very small. It means I'll be voting all the way to tomorrow. Oh, not very because... Uh, we took into consideration the numbers. Uh, at a police station, it will not be more than 300. Or so, so it is based on that that we set up a lot of people. You know, this is an enclosed area. If you are not very careful to uh, set up more police stations, it may lead to chaos and all that. So, we, we, we manage it from that person. Let me speak to John Boy to the candidates. How is your camp? How are you feeling yourself? I'm, I mean, when you were called, we saw the reaction of the crowd. I mean, the levels of the shouting is what people used to tell me, at least for a year. I don't know what your own perspective has been so far. You don't shout for yourself, you know. It is the people who shout for you. And even in contested elections, you don't vote for yourself, even though you have one vote. It is determined by the voters. So that one... There's no problem with it if uh, the election process is uh, uh, smooth, there's nothing untoward in the process. You can't vote for yourself. After all, you want to serve. So if you are told not to serve again, what's your problem? Yeah. Is the ground looking good for you? I mean, you are experienced. You've I, run for so many positions I, in the past. So you can see election results even when the election is ongoing. I, I will. I will. Come out of flying colors. You win. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's uh, John Boydo, his general secretary of the New Patriotic Party.